What's up everybody, my name is Donovan and this is How to Happy. In this video we're going to be talking about the value of your values and this is something that we hear all the time, right? You need to know what your values are, you need to write them down, you need to make sure you revisit them. Highly successful people are spouting this off quite a bit and it might seem a little bit counterintuitive at first. I know for a long time I was in the camp of Really, why would you need to write out your values? How can you even make choices if you don't know what your values are, right? If you're making choices, you should intuitively know what your values are. However, I just kept seeing, you know, these highly successful, high-level people saying, you need to write down your values, you need to know what they are, you need to revisit them on a regular basis. So eventually, as I was going through my own self-improvement journey, I decided to bite the bullet and actually start writing down my values. I figured, eh, if this is something that everybody touts, I'll be able to do it really quickly. It'll be super easy. So when I actually sat down to do it, I was pretty surprised when I had a really hard time articulating what my values were without doing it in a way that was, you know, a massive novel because I wanted to write something that I could actually revisit, not tons and tons of pages. As I got started, I ended up with stuff like passion, and then I would look at passion and think to myself, what does that really mean? Is passion really one of my values? Is that something that really resonates with me? I don't know what it means, it's not specific enough. Then I would write something like, I value having high energy all the time, and then I would think about it for a bit and go, I, I don't know if that's really one of my highest values. I don't know if that's what I care about the most. So this just kept happening, right? Different words and phrases and ideas would come out on paper. And then as I went to reevaluate them, I just kept checking stuff off and reiterating and reiterating and changing and changing. And it took me several months of going through this process before I got something at a baseline that I was happy with. Now, once I finally got this starting framework, I kind of wondered to myself, okay, what am I actually supposed to be doing with this, right? Am I just supposed to be reading through this every day and that's supposed to inspire me in some way? So what I found out over time is that one of the best uses of your values that you can have is, one, once you know that they have some meaning towards you, you can go throughout your day and compare your actions against your values to see if you're living in the way that you want. Let me illustrate that with an example. If one of my values is, I live each day open to new experiences and something comes up in the day, right? I get invited to something and I opt out of it without a real other plan because it's some kind of activity I haven't tried before and I'm not in the mood. That would dictate in my values that I actually should have said yes to that opportunity. And these values come out of knowing in the grand scheme of things that they're gonna be closer to the types of things that you want to do, right? So for me, I have that in my values because a lot of times I would say no to opportunities, but when I said yes to them, I would go to these new experiences and find out that they were extremely valuable. So knowing these lists of values can give you these little hints and ideas on how to act so that you can become the kind of person that you want to. Now, comparing your daily actions against your values isn't necessarily to make you feel bad if you made a mistake, et cetera, et cetera. It's to keep them top of mind so that as choices come up, you can make choices that are closer to where you want to be. So in that last example, if you know I didn't go to whatever the event was, then I can remember for next time, oh, hey, wait, one of my values is I actually do really enjoy these new experiences, so I need to remember to say yes. Then over time, you're gonna develop habits taking you closer to the type of person that you want to be. And that's where one big distinction is and why it's important to actually write down your values is because there's a lot of people, myself included, who think that they're acting in a certain way, but then when they evaluate their values against their actual actions, they find out there's a disparity. When you constantly are revisiting these values, instead of kind of knowing what you believe in and what you want to do, you get closer to actually living through those values and becoming the type of person that you want to become. If you don't already have your values written down, I highly recommend that you start doing this. And there's no specific way that you have to, you know, list out your values. So I'll go over a couple different ideas that you can use. One is to just come up with a list of words, right? Just, you know, like I was saying, like passion. For me personally, an individual word is not quite enough for me to really get a good feeling about my values. But for a lot of people, they can just list out a word or several words, revisit it daily, compare their actions against it, and know whether or not they're living in the way that they want to. If you need something a little bit more specific, you can also write out sentences, right? So these are just slightly more specific phrases. 
I'll just quickly give you a couple of my values since they're written out in sentences like that. So one of them is I value all human relationships. Another one is I stay open to new experiences. Another one is I value money only to create happiness. These are just a few of my full list, but these are things that I can look at every day and compare my actions against to make sure that I'm living in the way that I want to. In addition, a lot of times looking back at these will help me feel more comfort if I'm worried about something that isn't actually one of my values. Finally, if that's not specific enough for you either, you can write out paragraphs. Some people like to write out longer paragraphs kind of explaining their mission or purpose or their values, kind of making it flushed out in a way that they can read. The one thing to note if you're gonna write out paragraphs is if you want to revisit your values regularly, writing out too many paragraphs can make it take a while. However, for some people this works really well. It's just something to keep in mind. Once you've written out your values, don't expect them to stay the exact same forever. Over time, you're gonna to wanna to iterate through them, make adjustments, things change in life and priorities change, as well as sometimes, you know, as you refine this tighter and tighter, you just find pieces that don't necessarily fit. My personal list of values has gone from, I think about 20 items at the start down to 10 as I just combined things, took things out that weren't really super important to me. But now I'm really close after a couple years to a set of values I feel will be carried with me for quite a while. However, I'm still open to updating it. Every once in a while when I go through them, I think about is this really the list that I wanna look at as I evaluate my life and who I wanna become. Hopefully that gives you a little bit more understanding as to why writing out your values is actually a useful tool. As you revisit them, you can compare your actions and see how you're doing. Or if you do it at the start of the day, you can remember your values as you go out making decisions. For some people, they actually are gonna have this internalized, but for others, it's helpful to really have this written list out. Let's move on to the exercise section. Number one, write down your list of values. Two, Commit to revisiting them every day for a week and comparing them to your actions. At the end of the week, evaluate how the practice worked for you. That's all I've got for this video. As always, if you have any questions, comments, topics you want me to cover, throw them down in the box below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. See ya. You can check out more content at howtohappy.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the videos. We've also got a Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook that you can check out. Reflect, take action, and enjoy life. See you next time.